What's going on YouTube? Today's topic is the one about car buying. You may already have a car, but I want you to think of something. How many car payments do you have? Do you have one? Do you have two? Uh, and the reason I want to do that is because it's important. As a service member, eventually you may change station, PCS. And what happens, what are you going to do if you are going to an overseas location? Whether it's Hawaii, Germany, wherever. The military will pay to ship one vehicle guaranteed that's going to happen so I want to ensure if you have a second vehicle if it's paid off good sell that vehicle and go on your way but if you have two car payments that can be a challenge so I want you to think about that right now if you do have two car payments let's say the first one is 350 per month and your second one is 250 if you add those two together that's six hundred dollars right there if you add gasoline for a month, I'll just make up a number, $200, that's $800 already. And if you add insurance, I'll make up a number, 100 or 150 that's 900 or 950 $950 a month. That's a lot of money. Sometimes I can compare that to the topic of 950 a mortgage or a rent for, for you to live in. Think of it as like that. So 950, my point is this, it's a lot of money, a lot of money uh, for a vehicle. Something that sits outside in the parking lot 40 hours a week. Yes, it takes you here and there. Um, if you do have two vehicles right now with two car payments, what are you going to do when you PCS overseas, whether it's Japan, whether it's Korea, and you are making payments. That's something that either you can sell that car, that would be the best scenario, or get rid of it, have somebody buy it from you. But what happens if you can't sell that? That means that second car is going to stay in storage or with family, but you still have to make that car payment. If you do have two car payments right now, maybe make one of your goals, hey, I'm going to get an income tax refund, hopefully, and you pay off that second car. So eventually the goal should be is that you have one car payment, and that's it. I talk to people all the time, and they say, hey, I have two car payments. It's not a problem. I'm making my car payments on time all the time. Yes. But that's a lot of money. The example I painted was 900, 950. That's a lot of money. If you have one car payment and the second car is paid, what can you do with that money? Think long-term investment. Make that money work and grow and grow. So once you retire, you have your pension. Do you know what that's interesting is that 17 to 20 percent of service members will make it to an active duty retirement? Does that make sense? My goal was to do 20 years minimum of uh, active duty or more. But I, at nine and a half years, the, the military, in my case, the Air Force said, we have too many people, you have to get out. So I didn't make it. I didn't make it to that 20 years of active duty. That's the topic today is if you have two car payments, should you have two car payments? Some people can, some people don't. The best kind of car, in my opinion, is the one that is already paid off. And uh, that can take you everywhere. I'm also, I have, because of my family, I have to make sure that we have one car that can take us to wherever we want to. So I do believe in one car payment. So some people will say no car payment. Some people will say two or more. But whatever, do whatever works for you. Ask the individuals at your installation um, for some advice, military one source, like I've said before. So make sure that you have, if you have questions that you ask, contact me. Send me a message and I'll make sure to answer that question. Hopefully this was uh, very helpful for you, and uh, we'll see you shortly. All right? Take care.